Uh, initially, this project uh, started um, through research that uh, the director, Dr. Searcy, did. We've known about this site for quite a while. There are records uh, from previous excavations as well as landowners around the area uh, talking about the Hinkley Mounds and, and other mounds here in West Provo. Based on Dr. Searcy's research, we were able to uh, determine that this would be a great location because it's some of the only mounds left out here in the area. So for most of us, this is our first real field experience. Some of us came out and did work with contract companies for extra credit, but this is our first real field experience. So I'm an anthropology major with an archaeology emphasis, and one of the requirements for the major is to do a field school. And so we were lucky enough to have one basically in our backyard here in Provo. So we've been looking for ancient Native American or Fremont artifacts and structures. And it's going to help me in that when I go out into the real job market, I'll have already had this field experience, which is required by a lot of jobs. Really, because this is private land and it's owned by the Hinkleys and they've protected the land for several decades, um, we just needed to, we spoke with Mr. Hinkley and talked to him about what we were proposing. And, uh, he was very willing to help us out and allow us to, to come and, and look at his land initially and then bring out an entire you know, cadre of students out here to put holes in his land and he's been great to work with. When you're digging you almost feel like a treasure hunter or Indiana Jones so every time you find something you get really excited about it so that's been great but also just working with everybody getting to know everyone in our cohort it's a really great group and we've all worked together really well and it made me excited about my future jobs. So this project has been fantastic for our students because it's, it's local for one and so they, they get to go home and take showers and uh, come back and be refreshed. For the main part, you know, this type of experience is a hands-on opportunity for these students. They're actually in there digging in the dirt, uh, processing artifacts and working with uh, mentors, graduate students as well as professors and other professionals. So they're really getting a mentored experience throughout the entire six weeks. They also get lab opportunities, so they're processing and cleaning artifacts and, and learning about all the different steps involved in archaeology. Yeah, so the community is really, uh, it's been fantastic to have them come and visit us. We've had, we think, over a thousand people come out and visit, especially we've had fourth graders from the various elementary schools here in Utah Valley, which has been great for them because they're learning about Utah history and they're then coming out to the site here and seeing it firsthand as well. We've also had a lot of opportunity to work or, or to talk to neighbors here in, in, in this area. Uh, and they get to see what's right in their backyard. And many have talked about how they had no idea that this was out here. And uh, we told them that there are probably artifacts right in their backyard, which uh, they thought was exciting as well. So this project has been done in, in cooperation uh, with Utah Valley University and especially Dr. David Yoder, who's been the co-director with Dr. Searcy at BYU. Uh, we're especially grateful for the Hinkley family and allowing us to come here and work on their land as well as the Department of Anthropology at BYU. Uh, various donors have helped uh, to fund this project and to fund the, the uh, high-tech equipment that we're using out here. Uh, we're also grateful to, to Goal Zero, who has helped to provide some of the solar panels that we're using so that we are basically power independent out here on this project. It's a first for us. Uh, we're going paperless, which has been great to, to get rid of all the paper forms. Um, We've had a, a lot of professors from uh, both universities come out and visit as well and lend support, so we're thankful to them as well. If anyone wants to learn more about what we're doing here at the Hinkley Mounds, they can go to anthropology.byu.edu.